In the world of fashion, what's old almost always becomes new again. And right now it is all about tie dye. And if it seems like everyone everywhere is wearing it, it's because they are. So today's style expert, Sydney Sadik, is here with us virtually, and she's gonna teach us how to make our very own tie dye at home. Sydney, I'm calling this your tie dye tutorial. Okay, perfect, <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> no, it really seems like since everybody's you know been in lockdown, we're dressing a lot more casually, but everyone from celebrities to you, my girl, are rocking this trend in, in such a fashionable way. It's true, tie-dye is definitely here to stay. We originally saw it in the 60s and now it is here. Everyone is rocking it. It is flooding your Instagram feeds, I'm sure. We're seeing stars from Nina Dobrev to Ashley Tisdale wearing it. And what's really great about this trend, you don't have to go out and shop for it. You can literally make it right in your very own home. Okay, so give me the guidelines, the do's and don'ts. Definitely. So it's really about pairing colors that aren't muggy. You want to go for bright so you get that really nice finish. Here with what I'm wearing today, I paired a hot pink with a light pink because those colors go together. I have another one that I did right here, which is really fun, more in neutrals and earthy tones. And I really just went for a neutral one and then some blues and yellows. These are colors that work great together. You can also go really simple, and this is what I suggest for everyone doing at home, and just picking two colors. So for this little t-shirt right here, I went for gray and white. And then I had fun by putting some more embellishments on these. But they're really, again, you just have to play with it. And sometimes when you're making these shirts and sweatshirts, it looks like a mess, but they end up looking fabulous no matter what you do in the end. Where do we even begin? Okay, so first of all, you have to get the clothes to use, right? You just want a basic white t-shirt, sweatshirt, sweatpants, whatever you want. Use whatever you have at home. That's what's really great about this. Then you need some fabric dye. Next up, it's really about getting your material in a nice cinnamon roll shape. So the easiest way to do that is to lay out your fabric, take the innermost fabric with your hands and start scrunching it up and turning it until you literally get all the fabric rolled into a baked good looking sort of situation. Come from a family of baked this should not be tough. Take as many rubber bands as it possibly needs in order to stay in that shape. You get your dye and you literally just start pouring the dye wherever you want it to start appearing. What's nice about these rubber bands, it kind of gives you a nice little outline. So I like putting every other color on every other section that's rubber band. Then after you do that, you're going to put some saran wrap on it and you're gonna leave it for around six to eight hours, but I was just leaving it for overnight. That way it really gets in the color. Then after that, you're going to take it all out. You're going to drench it in a bucket of water and really just like push your hand down to get all that excess dye out of there. It's gonna look a little different at that point. You're gonna see the color sort of blending together, but then once you put it in the wash and then you put it in the dryer, it comes out and it turns out to be this amazing piece of tie dye. And this is one that I actually made just last night. So it's a little bit wet but this is just a really easy little thing right here that I just blue and hot pink. This is what I did. It was super easy to do and that's what it'll look like once you do yours too. I just have to say, people would spend a lot of money on something like that. They cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but here, this is just stuff I've had at my house. You don't even have to spend money to achieve the trend, which is awesome. Love it. Okay, Cindy, thank you so much for this tie-dye tutorial. Thank you.